How I Met Your Father is its own standalone sequel to the original. I know that's like the big thing, like how can, you know, it live up to it, but it's really its own show. Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, sweetie. Oh, you look tired. Okay, thanks for calling. Are you busy? Not really, just finished studying. <laughs> Good, because I want to tell you the story of how I met your father. 2005 and 2022 are two different worlds, you know, especially when it comes to dating. You know, you meet a group of people, a group of friends uh, who meet each other for the first time and instantly click and you see them navigating their life in friendship, in love, in career. And I think it's, it's a nice uh, necessary escape for a lot of viewers. And even as, you know, being a part of it, it was a nice escape for myself to be playing Valentina. How I Met Your Mother is uh, legendary, and obviously we have to pay homage to it. So there's definitely a lot of little Easter eggs that we throw in um, the How I Met Your Father that I think a lot of viewers will be very happy about. Oh, I'm so happy you're home. I miss you so much. We don't have time for I miss you's dish. How was your date with Ian? Was he tall? Yes. Was he a good listener? Yes. Were his eyes as kind as his photo? Yes. <laughs> Describing Valentina, I mean, I like doing the whole three words. I say she's fun, flirty, and thriving. She loves to have a good time. And for some reason, I, I just feel like she's a, she's fun, she's a good time. And if you try to set boundaries on her good time, oh, she you will meet her. Like, don't you dare. She sees like a glass half full and she's loyal. I love her friendship with Sophie and, you know, how welcoming she is to new friends coming in this circle that they're now forming. My favorite part about playing Valentina, you know what? I'm so grateful that with Hulu, we can really push buttons and we can really go there. So I'm overall, I'm having a good time playing her. When I first got the audition sides, I mean, I instantly connected. It was like, I saw her clearly. I saw her fashion. I saw the way she spoke. I heard her and it was like, it was almost meant to be. I knew from the first instant that I had to do her because she's, I mean, she, she's fun, but it, I just saw her clearly. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. Man, being on set with this cast on and off screen is so much fun. And, you know, the, the cool thing about it is being in television so long, I've met a lot of people throughout my career, but there are certain people that you get really excited about. And I had no shame when I came on set. I did meet Hillary about 10 years ago and I was, <laughs> I asked something so awkward and potentially inappropriate, but she was very, uh, very sweet about it. She was pregnant with her first child and I asked her if she had lost her mucus plug yet. Yep, I did that. She did that. So seeing her 10 years later and having the opportunity to work with her and, you know, get to be, become genuine friends on and off screen has been fun. And then, you know, with Chris as well, I think the last week of filming, I gave him a hug and I was like, you didn't deserve that private practice reference. And even, you know, Josh as well, you know, he's, he's so charming in, in this series. It was really fun to work with people that, you know, we all kind of grew up acting, uh, but we had never really worked together. So it was fun to kind of bring us full circle. I'm most excited for viewers just to watch the show. I am also a fan of the original. And of course, when you hear about um, a, a sequel to something that you love so much, you're like, ah, please don't ruin it. But I, as an OG fan myself, not just because I'm in it, I think you guys will be very, very happy. And we create our own world. There's going to be quotes that you guys love from us, gags that you guys love from us. It, it's so different and it's so fun. And it's very much, you know, today, 2022. So, and it's also nostalgic. One of the things that I love about it, you know, growing up in the era that I did is we make a lot of references, like in, you know, um, the birthday episode when, uh, you know, Sid drops a keg and he goes, we're going to take this to the grave. I know what you did last summer style. I, that was so funny to me because I grew up in that era and there's more nuggets like that, that we say throughout the series that I think a lot of millennials will appreciate. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.